Hello everybody, this is Kyoshi here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Beast Kingdom Dynamic Action Heroes DAH027 series, the Toy Story Andy Davis action figure. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm actually really excited about this. This is a super popular figure in Asia, especially, um, and they are all so out pretty much the moment it was released. So it took me a while to finally found this brand new Andy Davis action figure to review for you guys and also to add it to my collection. I grew up watching Toy Stories. That's probably one of my first, if not one of the very early animated cartoons or animated uh, movies that I've seen or watched as a child. And I I love it. It's part of my childhood. I wouldn't say that's complete, that completes my childhood, but that's one of my childhood memories is watching Toy Stories with my family, with my cousins and all that. And also playing with Toy Story toys uh, released by multiple people like Mattel. There's a bunch of toy companies release these figures and even nowadays. So I'm pretty excited. And we never gotten a Andy Davis figure in general speaking. There's always, you know, a bust liar. There's also always Woody and all that, but we never gotten Andy Davis. So I think Andy Davis himself would never have thought that he would become an action figure one day. So that's cool. Uh, well, let's take a look at the packaging first. We'll move Andy to the side. This is amazing figure, by the way. One of my best purchases of 2022. I mean, yeah, 2022 just started, but still, this is one of my best purchases. Here is the packaging. We have DAH num number 027. This is 27th figure from the uh, Dynamic Action Heroes series released by beast kingdom it's a taiwan based um action figure toy company and uh these are in one ninth skill it's different than the uh hasbro's for example the 112 skill or hot toys which is the one six skill this is in a one ninth skill which is roughly around eight inches tall uh it might be compatible with NECA in some ways Here's a look of it. It says here, one knife skill, action figure, Andy. Here's the back. Here's everything that comes with this packaging. With Andy, the base and interchangeable clothing, the t-shirt and the pants and a head. Uh, I mean the cap, uh, cowboy's cap and then Woody and Buzz Lightyear and a few interchangeable hands. We'll go over that in a minute. Cool. Um, here is the packaging. Let's get it closer we'll look at the accessories first here we have a signature toy story logo base clear base it says toy story andy davis i don't plan to use this but um it's handy i like all my action figures that comes with base so it's definitely uh, a plus and a bonus um i think it's pretty cool too but i i will use something else for it i probably i wouldn't even use a base because i do have some thoughts about displaying my andy as like sitting down I'm not gonna let it stand. And um, yeah, so next, interchangeable hands. There's a bunch of interchangeable hands. By the way, I got this figure for around 90 bucks. I think it's pretty reasonable. Uh, when this figure was released, I think it cost around 80 bucks, 70, 75 to 80 bucks. So um, I was able to find this figure for 90 bucks. I'm still ha very happy because if you look online, um, even a used figure can cost anywhere from 110 all the way to like two, three hundred dollars. Because once again, I think this is the only Andy Davis action figure in the market today, and it's pretty well made. So it's pretty popular among all the uh, Toy Story fans. Here are the hands. We have a pair of pointy hands. You know, like Bus Lawyer. You know, um, what was that line in the movie? To infinity and beyond you know that kind of hand up uh, there's a pair of that hand you can you can you can do it either left and right so that's a pair of that here we have a relaxed hand this is what they call it a relaxed hand it's a pair of that as well here's a pair of fisted hands cool and currently uh well when when you open the packaging the figure comes with this hand the relax hand i already swapped it with a grabbing hand that, that can grab uh, woody and buzz Lightyear. and so also uh a pair of interchangeable clothes um here is the green t-shirt with the blue jeans or the blue pants i mean when you open the packaging this is a sh this is a clothing that comes with this figure initially i did a swap all 
off the camera i swapped the shirts with um the white and the blue so uh, i just want to test how to swap it it's fairly easy i don't think i will do that on, on on the video here maybe i will we'll see um but it's definitely easier to do it off camera because you know there's no time limits and all that um it was fairly easy i think the hardest part to swap this figure is definitely the head uh, well, I, I will explain that in a bit. Uh, and we also have three uh, face. Um, here we have a laughing face. Here we have an angry face. And here we have a just a still normal smiley face. And the cool thing about these particular toys uh, definitely, definitely is the eyes can move. So if you want the eyes to look to the left, you can, you can do that. Uh, let me... Let me show you guys. It's brand new, so it's a bit stiff. Look at it. <laughs> you can flip the eyes if you want it. If you want him to look to the left, you can flip it to the left. And if you want it just still looking to the middle, you can do that as well. Um, yeah, I think that's a pretty neat feature. And I, I think some of those older toys back in the days, they have these features, especially the dolls. Um, but uh, yeah, for these action figures nowadays, I think this is pretty handy. You know, look at it. You can move the eyes around. Yeah, I really like this feature. You can look up and down as well. But uh, you get the idea. Just have to flip this thing in the back. Yeah, looking pretty cool. I like all the face sculpts. I think the smiling is the one I'm going to display the figure with. That's why I swapped the face. When you get out of package, uh, it's installed with this uh, still smiling kind of look. So I already face swapped it. The face swapping is very simple. It's not difficult at all. So these are all the accessories and the other accessory is the background. Um, this figure does come with a background, which looks like Andy's room. So like, like so, you can have it here, have Andy standing up right here. Oh, he dropped the bus liar, but you got the idea. Um, pretty cool. I think um, this is a handy one. Um, I, I will probably use that to take some photos, um, but for my display purposes, I'm not going to use that, that base, but uh, yeah. Okay, so let's back to the figures. Um, I'll zoom out a bit so you guys can see a full look of the figure. It comes with the cowboy's cap. It's made of plastic, rubbery materials. Pretty cool. It fits the hat pretty well, like so. Um, and also, of course, he comes with... Uh, Woody and Buzz Lightyear. Pretty cool. And um, I think these toys do fit with the Bullseye blind box, blind bags, the Toy Story blind bags. If you guys have seen that before or you guys have owned those before, they're compatible. The size of these toys and the Bullseye blind bag toys are compatible in terms of size and look. So if you guys have those blind bags, the Toy Story version, uh, 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 series, um, you guys can actually, actually swap the toys, you know, and play with Vandy and or have all the figures lay out like right here on the floor and having Andy sit in the middle and just kind of pretending he's playing with all these toys he had. I think that would make some amazing scene. I do have those toys as well, but I, I stored it away somewhere. I need to find it, but I have a full set of um, Toy Story uh, mini figures from Bose High Toys. Anyways, yep, yeah. and then now take a look at Andy. Uh, we'll do a 360 first. Um, here we have the smiling face, the shirts, the pants, the feet and the shoes. Here's the side, here's the back, here's the other side. Yep, here's the top, here's the bottom. Looking pretty cool and look, some, look at some details. Here's the white shirt and the blue jeans. Looking absolutely amazing. Here's the shoes. They even have the toenail articulations. The toe articulations, which is very handy. I like it. Um, yeah. Um, here's the face. Um, yeah. Uh, in terms of articulations, this is how much you can bend because of the pants. Here's how you can do double jointed knees and all that. The toes, angle pivots and all that. All those articulations are there. Here's the... The arms it can only do about this much i'll say 75 degree it's not even a well a 90 degree you can do a 90 degree but that's all it can go um yeah and then the head tilting no problem up not so much this is how much up he can go and down a lot um yeah 360 no problem cool and um i don't know should i do a 
swap here. Um, basically, what you do, I'm not going to do a swap on the camera because there are a few things you, you do need to be careful. First is the hands. Um, it's optional if you want to remove the hands. When I ch changed the clothes, I did took out the uh, the hands. It just helped out a little bit more. But I think with the grappling hand, you don't have to take it out. But when you do take out the hands or swap the hands, be careful. These pegs, another pack, these connecting joints here are very small. So uh, yeah, be very patient with it, you know, um, and not push it or force it too hard. It might just break. There's no um, like replacement parts that came with this figure um other than that i think the rest is all right um face swap is very easy you just take out the front of the face then okay i'll do a swap um uh, basically what i did is i have the head off and then have the arm up and then just slide the shirts going up like so you got an idea i'm not going to take the head the head is the hardest and most challenging part to put it on um yeah so basically you just roll it up then you and then just roll the sleeve up and then you have the shirt off and then change the shirt the pants are even easier there's a little thing here you just open it and then just drag it down like so the pants are even easier yeah you got an idea it's very simple it's just like dolls you know uh how you dress up your the dolls barbies this is how you how you do it it's in, very similar yep um here is my quick review i guess of the annie davis uh dynamic action heroes action figure dah027 i love this figure this is a 10 out of 10 for me um i in terms of gripes like i said the joint seems a little bit fragile because it's so thin and tiny so do you want to be careful and i probably would not swap the hand again this is the hand i want to display my figure with so that would be cool um and also the head it's very difficult to put it back on um the pegs are very stiff i'm um, not a stiff like it, the size is very huge uh, as you can see it, maybe you do it often enough it will loosen up but you don't want to loosen up neither so that would be the challenging part but still this is a 10 out of 10 for me uh one of a kind andy davis figure um this is my childhood i think many people's childhood and so i highly recommend this figure to anybody if you guys can find this figure anywhere under 100 bucks i think you guys should should buy it if you are a uh, toy story fan um because like i said these figure this figure is very very popular and i think once you pass um years later you want it back you will never get it again um yeah um uh, i love this purchase i'm happy with it thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you guys in the next video bye bye